So let's say you already own an iPad Pro that is worth 1,200 US dollars and you want another uh, smart pad but which is much cheaper and you just simply want to use it for browsing and simple uh, Android app use. Or let's say you want to have something that functions like an iPad but you find Apple iPad uh, to be extremely expensive, which I consider to be the case, then what we have here is a Notepad K10 by a company called Dragon Touch. I would consider it to be a perfect solution if you're on the latest stage because I don't really need all those functions that our Apple iPad is suggesting. All I need is a much larger battery capacity with simple browsing, with simple app use. And this is what it, what it is. And um, the price for this, I believe it to be 100 British pounds. Not sure how much in uh, US dollars, but I'm sure you can check it out by the link down below. So this Dragon Touch, the specification is the operation, operation system of Android 9.0 and the storage capacity of 2GB plus the 32GB CPU with a quad core Cortex A53 of 64 bits and the resolution of 800 by 1280 IPS. The camera is uh, 2 megapixel in the front and the 8 megapixel on the back, and the battery is a whopping. 5,000 milliamp per hour. So I assume this is gonna last ages. So I'm really excited to review this product. So let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. A simple cover that just needs to come out. And the moment of truth. All right, so nothing there, just a plain box, simple. And we got a, a thin layer of protection. And we got the actual Good, but before that, let's see what's inside here, shall we? Oh, okay, edge protection. And another simple card. Oh, okay, so this is just the warranty, uh, two year warranty. Simple USB cable for charging and the uh, plug, UK power socket. Use a manual, which I'm sure you really don't need it. That's not needed. So the actual good, there's a bit of a weight, I can see. So if we take it wrap out. Okay, that's really interesting. That's how it looks. Um, we got the um, power jack here and also the um, micro HDMI slot there, which I don't know how many people will actually use because you can use casting nowadays, most of the times. Anyway, we got the um, the earphone jack here, volume up and down, and also the power button as well, and the tiny reset button that you can see there. On the bottom side of it, we got the um, speaker, two side, actually, on the back, the camera, which is eight megapixels, and this, basically, people, if you, if you wanna expand the memory, so I got here of um, 200 gigabyte um, SD card installed to it as well. So that's pretty much it. English, United States, start. Connect, Brexit means Brexit. Wi-Fi is connected, it's checking for the latest updates. This might take a few minutes, that's fine. So there are three different options. I guess you can, because I'm an Android user, I could just sign in by using the Google and then restore all the things. So let's get into that. I actually back it up on my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, so I'm gonna go for that restoration. Yes, it's pretty simple. So I just need to put in the um, screen lock code. And then once type in, all I just need to do is just telling you how many apps. So literally just gonna restore everything um, from what, what I have on my phone. So here it goes, that's brilliant. I mean, the software side is pretty much Google, isn't it? Like if you scroll up and down, you can see the Wi-Fi is connected. Um, Bluetooth, do not disturb, flash light. So you can see that the flashlight is actually working. Um, Auto rotate, battery saver, play mode, and the cast function as well. That's good. So you can actually use your Chromecast to cross all these things. On the um, YouTube side, let's see how quick it is. So I actually managed to install 84 apps, by the way. So it's not bad. It, I mean, for browsing, it's not a problem at all. So let's go to my channel and see one of my latest video to see how it performs. 
it's a bit of a loading time it depends on what sort of network connections you have but um, yeah okay so that's all good to go I think so on here you could you know scroll up and down um, the sound so I guess you could scroll here so there seems to be three different types of pages here So that's a full screen. Not bad. So you can choose any other videos that you want to go for and the description of the video. Okay. Search engine, you go to Google. I mean, you could scroll. I mean, the response time is pretty good. Scrolling up and down. And if you want to type something, let's say, then the keyboard pops in. The keyboard itself is wide enough to type in. So if I go, I love you and then you got a straight response so that's pretty much um, good to go if you type search then straight away uh, you get the results so it's perfect for you know web browsing or watching YouTube now let's look at the uh, performance level I'm just typing in the GPU um, performance test All right so it took about uh, 20 seconds to reach up to 100% okay so this is the graphic so I don't know whether you can see the figures here. So frames per minute, nine, max 99, average of 24. And this is the graphics you see. Yeah, so you can see that it's um, 123, 130 M MS. And also uh, all the figures on the bottom as well. Now let's try the PUBG, shall we? Right, so I wait a couple of minutes, it's still starting. Um, but just so you know, what I've done is I cleared out all other apps that might be actually running. So it's uh, still not working. That's interesting. So instead, I'm playing the 8 pull by the uh, mini clip. So there's a bit of delay. Um, actually, quite, quite a delay. I'm waiting for it to be connecting. Um, I would expect this to be happening straight away. But anyway, let's tap to spin. Come on. So it's slowing down. Okay, so let's collect that, whatever that is. So collect, I have to press it a few times. So yeah, there's, there's this ongoing um, delays initially, but I'm hoping the speed will catch up as things go by. But I just press the X and it's not uh, closing immediately, is it? Okay, so let's play one-on-one. -on -one. So I just press it and it's like about a second later, it makes a click sound of press. Okay, let's play that. So you can see that's a delay there. Okay, so it is playable initially, but it, it seems very slow. So this is um, Final Fantasy VII, so it is playable um, and you can see sometimes there are slight glitch and slowness but um, maybe it was something in the beginning but it's starting to uh, get better and better so less of a glitch and um, up to speed so I would say overall it's playable you can see there's no delays um, and you can see all the graphics it's going smoothly because I'm pressing really fast and the movement as well it seems to be in a all good to play that's good let's do a bit of a camera test shall we I mean that seems pretty decent so far so let's take some photo make sure it's zoomed in properly and uh, take some photo um, and also I think there's a selfie mode Okay, so we're just swapping around and one, two, three. And lastly, let's get into the video side and see how good the camera quality is. So let's start the recording. Okay. Sorry about all the reflection. But um, I'm going to show you in a different screen anyway. So 
So I do want to use this, uh, the, the uh, Notepad K10 model for indoor use when I'm at home. So mostly I guess I'll be using this for browsing, watching YouTube most of the time, search engine and etc. But when it comes to playing like one of the most updated games such as PUBG or those online games, I think initially there's a there's a long waiting time. Once it starts, it seems to be able to catch up with all the speeds for some reason. So that's quite interesting. I've never seen such thing happening with any devices, uh, but the waiting time, it, initially waiting time, you kind of get frustrated. I mean, for me, it was quite frustrating, but I, I don't mind. I mean, this is exactly what I wanted for web browsing and web search, and this is what I got. So, um, is it worth it for me, guy like me? Yes, but if you're looking to play all these up-to-date games um, and you're expecting to work exactly the same as the iPad um, or like iPad Pro, which is worth like at least 400, 500 US dollars or maybe 1200 uh, dollars, um, I don't think you should buy it for that purpose actually. But then again, this is about 100 British pounds, which if you break it, or if there's a scratch, if you're not happy with it, you can buy another one anytime you want. And if you have two or three family members, uh, you could easily afford two or three of them as well. So anyway, I hope this gives you an insight of this um, Dragon Touch uh, Notepad K10 model. If you have any further queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.